We're back for the next, I think it's the fourth installment here. We had a swarm from uh, hive number five over there. And what they did is they swarmed, um, must be about 30, 40 yards, 30 yards into this um, dark uh, black spruce. And we had a swarm here earlier this year. This is September 6th. Uh, it's Scarborough, Maine. Uh, extraction day is tomorrow. So we're late in the season. Mother Nature's not doing these girls a favor. Um, so what we're going to do is try to help her out. And what I've done here, as you see, is we're late in the season, so I got a little makeshift hive. This is a pretty large swarm. We had one earlier. This is about two and a half times the size of the one we had earlier. And this is a double deep. I mean, this is a single deep with a shallow super. It's just foundation. There's no uh, drawn comb in there at all. Ran out of outer covers, so we made a just through a little piece. There's an inner cover there and an outer cover. And what you're doing, we're going to zoom in a little bit. And these are very docile carniolan bees. And you see the little green, on, you see it's a green hive body. And down at the bottom, you see that green space. And the green space is the area that they've opened up and where they're fanning and where uh, the troops are marching in slowly. Um, to calm them, when I move the branch down to to back out again when I moved the branch down I had to as you see I had to do a little surgery here and had to make four cuts basically and move it it was a big bundle I had to move it in two two pieces but four cuts I gave them a pretty good dose of sugar water which calmed them right down um, before I made the move so that the cluster wouldn't break up as I gently laid it you see a big stick you see that big stick there from from top to bottom in the frame and that's what was the main cluster was on and what they're doing I laid it right down in front of the hive on a sheet and what we're doing is that green space you can see it if you look closely you can see that they're moving from left to right on the screen slowly they're taking their time uh, a lot of them out here are still cleaning every now and then you see waves what I'll do here as it gets a little darker I'll start to fan I'll start to put a little bit of smoke on them and that'll start to move them a little bit faster into the hive as it gets darker. So that's the latest. Uh, once again you can do this with no bee protection at all. They're really very docile, these carniolans. And right now there's no brood, there's no honey, there's no stores, uh, there's nothing to defend yet. And they're, once they all get in here they'll start to call this home. Um, that'll change obviously and you'll need to use the normal uh, procedures you would to open up the hive from there on out. So, stay tuned.